Hey guys, what is up? Josh Shore here from Edit Video Faster. In this video, uh, I'm going to walk you through why you may want to use a pre-composition when working with text in After Effects. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make a pre-comp or pre-composition, uh, how to uh, you know use this pre-comp multiple times throughout your project, uh, how to update um, a pre-composition so it updates everywhere, uh, and lastly, what to do if you want to make a variation of that pre-comp um, and how to go about doing that. So let's jump into it. Uh, I'm right here in After Effects. Uh, I'm in CC version 2020. Um, like most of my tutorials, it's this uh, theory uh, dates back way back when, and I'm assuming, you know, what we're going to learn here is going to be applicable, you know, way into the future with After Effects. It's just the way After Effects works and how it thinks. Uh, so, okay. I have a composition here, uh, I have a background layer and a text layer, and let's just go ahead and throw this text layer into a pre-comp, and I'm going to explain what a pre-comp is in just one second. So to put it into a pre-composition, uh, hold down the command key if you're on a Mac, control key if you're on a PC, the shift key, and then hit the letter C, so command or control, shift, C. That's going to bring up this pre-compose window. Let's just give this a title, title, pre-comp and go ahead and just click OK. And I'm going to take that uh, composition that appeared uh, over here in my project panel, take it and drop it into this little pre-composition folder that I made. That's just for housekeeping. That's the way that you know I like to work. And um, to kind of rewind a little bit, uh, a couple of videos ago, uh, I talked about um, how I uh, edited an After Effects template for a client of mine and uh, you know something that was in that After Effects template um, was a bunch of pre uh, title pre-comps and uh, the, the title was used in a variety of different ways and you know you just update it in one place and it updates everywhere else um, and uh, that really got me thinking you know what if you know people don't know to do this uh you know especially you know me i remember when i was first starting out after effects i didn't really know what a pre-comp was or, or really the real power behind them and this is just you know one example of the power behind pre-compositions anyway i digress so <laughs> we made our pre-composition and here it is and it doesn't really look like anything's different but it, it is. So um, that title that we had in there before, it now sits inside of this title pre-comp. So uh, if we do want to edit that title, we need to go into that actual composition. So we can either go up here into the pre-comps uh, folder and then find the title pre-comp, double click it and open it, or straight from our main comp composition, find that title pre-comp uh, and double click it. And that's going to open it up. And you can see now that background layer is gone. This is the only thing in there. And we can also add other things, you know, to this composition if we want. We can add more titles. We can add solids. We can add lights. So, you know, whatever you want to do in here, you can add that in. And that's going to then appear in our main composition. If you are um, if you work a lot in, in uh, Premiere Pro, this is like a nested sequence. Same thing here, but it's called a pre-comp. Okay, so... Uh, the real power behind this, let's say I want to take this title and, uh, you know, use it a whole bunch of times, uh, whether that's, you know, in one place, a variety of different ways. Um, so for me, I'm just going to duplicate this a whole bunch of times. Okay, so super messy, but you can see uh, I have this title that I made a whole bunch of different ways uh, in my composition. And let's say I want to edit what this title says. And, you know, we could have that here just all stacked on top of each other. I can use that title, you know, in a bunch of different places throughout my main composition or in other pre-compositions. Uh, but let's say I want to change this, you know, edit video faster to my website name, you know, www.editvideofaster.com. Uh, doesn't fit. Let's make it a little smaller. There we go. And now when we go back to the main comp, all that edit video faster now says www.editvideofaster.com. And that's really the genius here. We can just update the title one time and it's going to update in every place that it's used throughout uh, all the other compositions. Uh, and that's when we're using a pre-comp. If we didn't use pre-comps, we would have to update that title every single time um, 
that we had it in our sequence uh, instead of just doing it that one time. So it's it's a real it can it can be a real time saver. Um, but let's say hey you know I like what I did for that title. I want to make another pre comp, but just a different variation of it. You know I, I want to go back and have a editvideofaster.com and uh, you know edit video faster. So uh, let's just trash those. So we can just go to our composition up here and just hit a command or control and the D key that makes a brand new or it duplicates our composition. So I can take it, drag, drop it in and then go in here and let's call it edit video faster. Go back to our main comp and from here I can take and I can move that around without actually having to go back into the pre comp and update it. And, um, you know, some, some other things you can do, um, you, you know, you can af apply effects uh, to these titles without actually affecting the title itself because you're applying the effect onto the pre comp. So let me just show you an example of that. Uh, so I duplicated the bottom one, the editvideofaster.com. I'm going to take this CC cross blur under effects and presets, blur and sharpen, CC cross blur cross blur. Take that, drop it on to uh, one of our pre comps, and I'm just going to take this and ramp it all the way up. So I, so as you can see, I applied that not to the title itself uh, because the title itself is still left without that blur on it. See, I can select that. There's no blur under the uh, effects control panel, and then back here in the main comp, you can see. Uh, there's that blur uh, on that title itself while there's another version of that title without the blur. Huh, hope that made sense. Okay, I think that wraps it up. Uh, I think that covers everything I wanted to talk about. Um, but yeah, pre-comp your titles. It's going to make it easier for you if you're using a title multiple times throughout your, your compositions uh, or throughout your project. You just need to update it one time and it updates through the rest. If you want to use a different variation of that title, just duplicate the pre-comp and then go in, alter that title, uh, and then you can use that pre-comp however you want. I really hope that made sense. Uh, I know I'm rambling a bit this morning. so. Anyway, if you have more to add to the conversation, please leave your thoughts below, any comments, any, you know, helpful tips, uh, you know, that you have of your own, or, you know, if you're, you're brand new to After Effects first time using pre-comps, if you have any questions, leave them down below as well. If this video helped you, if you could understand it, uh, please, uh, I would appreciate you giving this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this one, make sure to hit that subscribe button uh, so you always get notified about new uh, videos. Anyway, I think that's it. Um, I'll see you guys around in the next video. All right, bye.